Hey, this is Saflevar from LinkedInRef.com and in this video we're going to learn how to play Edgar Cruz Bohemian Rhapsody fingerstyle arrangement. Now, um, this is not an easy piece to play at all. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not an easy piece to play nor is it an easy piece to learn. So, what we're going to do is we're going to dissect it. We're going to dissect it into parts, into licks, into chord shapes, um, I'm going to explain everything slowly, methodically, so have patience and at the end of this video you're going to be able to go and practice this um, again slowly and methodically. Um, what you want to do is you want to learn each lick until you get it down under your fingers and then move on to the next one. Don't try to play the entire piece uh, at first. Just play a part until you get it down and then move on to the next. Because Bohemian Rhapsody, the song itself, is made out of very different parts, different musically. Uh, so we're gonna play a part, then learn it. That's how this video is gonna work. So let's begin right away with the first part, the a cappella intro. It goes like this. Okay, so are you ready? Take a deep breath and let's begin. This is the first chord, five, seven, and nine. It's D add nine, it's this one. Okay, only without the bass. Okay, so it's D add nine over E because this is E. Okay, five, seven, and nine. The next chord is, instead of 9, just put on 8 with the 3rd finger. You're gonna need the pinky in a second, so, okay, this is a diminished chord. Then add the pinky at 9 and then take it off again, okay? Then you can either play A or just the major note of the A, which is C sharp. So, then B, okay? This is B. So, again, A, it's nine, A, B. This was the first lick. Second lick. This is E7. It's it's a very smart chord because it's E7 without the bass. Uh, it's a very smart chord because uh, chord shape because it's got both the major note, uh, not the major note, the both the one and the seven. Okay, instead of this one, it's this and this together because okay you got it if not doesn't matter I was just trying to explain the chord so it's four five and seven okay so E seven then D five seven and seven then back to E seven okay so then use your free third finger for the E note on the A string. Okay? At 
seven uh, at the seventh fret. And then it's A A D A B minor A. How? Like this. A. Just add the pinky and the third finger for D. And take them off again for A. Okay, got it? And then B minor on 2, 3, and 4. Then A. Add 0, 2, and 2. So, A, A, D, A, B minor, A. Got it? Um, from the top. D add 9, diminished. A, B. E7. D, E7. E note, E bass note. A, D, A. B minor, A. Now, F sharp minor. straightforward. It's just just the chord. Then A7 and you don't need this note, you don't need the E note, so it's just one finger. Okay, and then the A note. So two, two, three, open E string. And then two on the third String. Slide it forward and D. Okay? Five seven seven again. So then you take this shape to ten. That's G. Okay? Okay, it's here. So And you do this. This is G, then D. 10, 10, 11. So again, this leg. Okay, it's F sharp minor, A7, D. G, D. Now it's B minor. Then add the 9. Or you can start with the art, um, artificial harmonics right away. Because we're going to use artificial harmonics later on. Okay, so it's better if you know this now. Okay, how um, the way to do this is 12 frets above, you place your first finger above the 12th fret above what you're playing. Okay, so this is here. And you use the third finger or the pinky to pick the string. Okay, so. Okay, this is the this is this is uh, B minor nine. Okay, so you can either play the nine or play the harmonic. Now E. This is the lick. It's E zero. Zero, two, zero, on the B string, three, zero, and you play the E string with it, then two and four, F sharp and G sharp on the E string. Then A sharp, A, A flat, A, twice. Now, D, just a D chord. Now, it's the C sharp bass with the third finger because you need the first one. 
Okay, and hammer on two and pull it off on the E string. Then A with a high A. Just bar the second fret and use your pinky for five. So. Okay, now leave the pinky on and put on a C diminished chord, an inversion of the chord, like this. Which is five with the pinky. You remember you left it on. Okay, so five, four. You don't play the G string. Four again on uh, the D string and three on the A bass. Okay, so it's C, C bass. It's C diminished. Okay, so you play everything but the G string. And then, or it's E. Just a D shape on four, and you play, uh, and you add the the six on the D string afterwards with your pinky. Okay, then E, and then the E seven again, and you slide it. This is E seven as well. This is ten. 12, 13. Now, why this is uh, an E7? Um, because this is the A chord, the E chord, okay, and this is E, so that's the 7. So, again, E, E, E7. Slide to another E7. And then slide from 1 to 2 on the G string and begin the verse. Okay, now before we learn this lick, let's play it again. this one E7 A F sharp minor A7 D G D now um, 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 uh, um, yeah B minor 9 or harmonic E Sharp bass, A, C diminished, E, E7, E7, slide from one to two. That's the intro. Now for the verse. First, let me play it. Uh, the verse comes around twice um, and there's a different ending at the second time around. So goes like this.
Okay, you ready? Let's go on with learning this. Um, the verse begins with, remember, and it's this. Okay, now this, the, the sixth note, is with artificial harmonics on 14 and 12. And with the, with the thumb, you pick actually any note you want. You can pick the bass, you can pick the D string. Okay? Practice it like this. Until you get it down. And then play it. Okay? Twice. Slowly. Okay, and then the verse begins. Okay, it's just this is mama. Then Okay, it moves on to F sharp minor. So and you bar the second fret. And you put on the chord. And Okay. Yeah, it's 16 and 14. It's 4 and 2. Remember, it's 12 frets above what you're playing. Then, okay, it's this, and then you move on to B. So it's or harmonics. Okay, the, um, the melody is this. Okay, and you use your pinky for... You play the last melody note with the ninth. And then... Now, you can play this. Or you can, uh, I like to add a small lick to it. Um, it's just a small arpeggio. Okay, it's um, the B note. And then hammer on from uh, 6 to 7, then 5, then 7. Okay, um, the second time around I do this lick. Okay, which is again the B note on 9, hammer on from 6 to 7, then on the E string 5 and 4. That's what I do on the second time around. I vary it a little. You don't have to, you can just do this. Okay, um, or you can actually on the four you can do an E chord. It's adds a little variation to it. And then again the A with the sixth on harmonics and then This is the melody. It's four and two with the bar for F sharp minor. Um, okay, so and hurry up to do the harmonics. So and 
and then it's um, this is B minor seven. It's because again, this is B, this is its seventh note. So it's seven on the bass, pinky and third on the, the seventh on the bass is with the second finger. Um, and then pinky and the third on the seventh fret on B and G. And first finger on five on the E string. Got it? So, and then, then you take the bass one, um, one half step back to uh, B flat. B flat. Okay? Not a moment too soon. And then A. Okay, this little lick. Okay, and G sharp. Now this is going for E over G sharp. So you've got time to add these two fingers on one and two for the E. So um, again, B flat, A, G sharp. say this is a very very smart arrangement um, and then D okay, and you fill this is just mama, and then you fill however you want and then um, C sharp with the third finger then B minor and then now you can do it like this okay just from the top but um, I like it like this okay um, you can do it either way like on seven from the start or from two to seven when you need the ninth. Okay, because you need to uh, you need to leave the pinky anyway. So there's a stop between the notes either way. D, C sharp, B minor. Um, okay, and then, this is the next lick. So, zero, two on E, and then, this is just E minor, this is, so, and then, okay, now it's E twice, right? So on the D string, you just do one and zero. And then C sharp again. So, and then this note, the A note, and then, Okay, it's just a solo on the A chord with the A bass. So then D and then A over C sharp. Now it's this shape, which is you bar the second fret, you put the C sharp bass on you put the high A as well. It's a beautiful chord and it's beautiful to the heat to the ear as well. So 
It's um, Now the first ending. Remember I said there were two endings for the verse because we play two verses. The first ending is this. Which is zero and then you bar the second fret and you put on the B minor. Okay, you got it? It's and then you take the chord off and you play the, um, the A note and then G sharp. Okay, it's got it? And D from tr three to two, from the flat, uh, the sharp five to the five. So um, it's um, and you play the the rest of the D five, and then this the G. Continue the turnaround. It's like a blues turnaround. It's G, D, then you make it into an A sharp uh, seven. Okay, it's just it's like a D seven. Then A seven sus four. You just keep the um, you keep the the uh, C sharp. It's C sharp. No, it's D. The D note on, and you just um, take these back. Okay, this it's blues. Okay, so it's so it's G, D, A sharp seven, uh, A seven. A7 sus4. Again, the names of the chords don't matter. It, what matters is to play this fluently. And then you play the verse again. So uh, let's go through the ending again. Um, where were we? Like here. this one C sharp A D uh, A over C sharp D minor G minor D Again, so let's go through it again. A which is um F sharp minor. Then B minor. Remember? You end the melody with the nine. Or you can harmonize it. And then with E. And second time around. Or or just Forget the harmonics, and then B seven, B minor seven. Remember this one? B flat, uh, A, G sharp, which turns into it's actually E over G sharp. So. And then D, 
C sharp, B minor. Okay, now we went through this. Now the second ending. The second ending um, goes into the solo, which is the next part. Um, goes like this. Now let's play the solo. Okay? Goes like this. Okay, so we're at the solo. Um, let's go back to the end of the second verse. Remember the A over C sharp? Just leave, this is a sixth over C sharp because you play the sixth note. And then just bar the seventh, uh, the seventh fret because it's B minor but you don't need these two notes so it's just 9 and 10 9 10 to 7 and then 12 with the open E minor and then you ascend the scale which is 12 14 15 17 19 so and then you play the A bass and you descend. Okay, I'm not one of these people who say play the solo exactly as on the recording, especially when you play a fingerstyle arrangement of it. You should, this is, I mean, this piece is so exact that I think this is your place to be a little creative. You can play this, the descension any way you see fit. So it's 19, 17, 15, 14, 12. On the B string it's 15, 14, 12. And on the G string it's 14. So with the A bass, remember. Okay? So um, use hammer-ons and pull-offs to your heart's content. You can even make it longer than the small solo here. Okay, if you if you want to. Then it's D. Okay, it's just a scale. The two on the, the A note, the two on the G string. Then on the second string. 0, 2, 3, and on the E string the same thing. And then you play the A over C sharp and do the same thing. Now you can either go to B uh, minor or you can play the A note as well. Okay? Um, or scale instead of the jump okay again you can skip this note and then this again and then uh, the movement into the opera part which is okay this is uh, on the D string, two, one, and with the one you play an open E string, and then three on the E string with zero on the D string, again, then twelfth with the C sharp bass, 
then eight on the bass, which is C, and on the um, the second string, and then okay, just the C five chord. So again, to make sense of it all. Then you exchange your fingers for the pinky and the third finger for this. Okay, otherwise you won't be able to do this fluently. So it's both C notes, C flat bass. C flat. What kind of a musician I am when I say C flat? There is no C flat, there's just um, B. There's no C flat note. I just made a complete ass of myself. So, well, it's the first three letters of my name. So, it's C, B, C flat. I should just cut it out of the video. C, B, then B flat with these with the second and third strings barred on five. Okay? So it's this interesting chord. Now, this is C over um, B flat. Why is it C? Because it's this one. Okay? G shaped. Over. Okay, I'm sure you can find uh, a different name for it, but let's not do this now. So again, and then just A minor, zero, one, and two, and then this, which is just three and three on the B and G strings, pulled off, and then the opera part begins, which is on G sharp. It's uh, four, five, and six. Okay, so the solo again. B minor. E minor. Ascend. And then descend with A. Remember, be creative with this solo part. And then D, up the scale, um, A over C sharp again, ascend the same scale, B minor again, then this one. Sharp bass, C5, and then this chromatic movement with the high C. Um, C over B flat, okay, A minor, G minor, jump to and now begins the opera part. Now let me just play it for you and then uh, we're going to dissect it. And this is probably the most tricky part, um, but it's not as difficult as you think it is. Let me just play it and then you'll see for yourself.
Okay, so the upper part, as you recall, begins with the G sharp chord. Then you bar with the third finger, you bar the sixth fret for a C sharp chord and you exchange it for the G sharp chord. Okay, like this. Okay, it's C sharp, G sharp, you take this note from 4 to 3 and then again to 4 and you play it again. C sharp only this time you need the high uh, G sharp notes so it's uh, four six and six um, it's G sharp and C sharp again then the three G sharp again and C sharp to G again Okay, so it's just an exchange between C sharp and G sharp. Bar, three, then high C sharp. High G sharp note, I mean the high C sharp sound. Three. Okay, now comes this lick. This was the first lick. It's Pretty simple, right? Uh, um, relatively speaking. Then this one. Okay, it's just this is C sharp over um, G sharp, which is this. Now you want the, the G sharp uh, note, major note which is uh, B, this note, ready. So you take the C sharp off, put it on again. And then um, G sharp seven. So it's C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, G sharp seven, okay? It's this. And then F sharp, E flat, A flat. Okay, so okay, it's just chords. Practice it slowly, and you'll get it. I promise. It's just chords. Now this. This is a solo. It's 11 12 on the E string. Then the same thing on the A string. Again. Then take your um, second and third fingers and do 11, 12, 11, 9, 7, 6. And use your pinky for the 7th fret on the, uh, the D string. Okay, this is the solo. Um, and then on nine on the uh, second string and then seven and seven nine and seven now just uh, an octave on B flat, A, and A flat. A sharp, A, and A flat. Again, like at the beginning. 
So, okay, it's just an octave. Um, and then this one. This seems a little scary, but let me just explain what we're doing here. This is a G chord on with three on the bass, seven on the other E string. Okay, and this is D. It's just D. Now, since you don't need this note, you just don't fret it. Okay? Um, now, you take this one half step back, you take the third finger off, you keep the pinky on, and you uh, add the second finger on D. And you get a D diminished, uh, a D, yeah, a D diminished chord. Okay, and then D again. Okay, so this is four, six, and four again, four, six, four, and five on the A bass. Okay, and you play it again. G, D, D diminished, D. So again. Okay, now um, it's it's nice when you demystify complex shapes, right? When you understand what you're playing. So then it's G again, slide to nine or, or don't slide, okay? Um, but you need the same finger anyway, because that's the easiest. And then D again, then it's, it's supposed to be E7 uh, over B and then A okay with the high A note but um, I don't think you need the B bass on the E7 so you can just do E7 A okay um, do whatever sounds good for you it's basically the same chord so, um, uh, uh, um, it's the same chord only with five on the bass, and it doesn't make that much of a difference. Um, if you want to be, uh, if you're a perfectionist, play the B note. If you don't think it's necessary, don't play. So again, okay, or. Okay, the only difference in, the, the only difference it makes is or that's the only difference it makes. Um, what's next? Oh yeah, this one. Okay, this time instead of octaves, it's a five chord. Okay, instead of it's. That's the only uh, difference it makes. So, before we move on, let's play this from the top. C sharp. C sharp again. C sharp over G to G sharp to C sharp to G7. F sharp. E flat. A flat. Again, this, the G, 
D A um, A sharp 7 A 7 um, A sus 4 And then this one Okay, which is the fifth and then you slide from five to ten and open a string. Now this, which is D. It's just barring the seven and adding the ten. Okay? This is a D chord. It's a D chord because it's a G shape. If you move G to here, it's D. Okay, so now this. Okay, get used to this lick. This lick is a bit tricky for the fingers. You need to um, get this ready behind this. Um, you again, it's like the beginning when you do this. It's A to D. It's 5 and 6 to 7 and 7. Okay? So D, D, A, D. This is um, E minor. Do it with the same fingers as the A. then D and A again, okay, with the A bass, and then the A, the D again, then the slide again, and then this again, then this, and then this solo. Okay, which is seven seven five, then ten six eight. Okay, so again, just so you can hear it in context. Um, Again, chord movement. Okay, this is B flat minor to A flat. Then C sharp, C, F without the B string. That's just this. Because if you play the B string, you get an F major 7. And you don't want a major 7. You want this one. So it's F5. Okay, so again. Okay, it's B flat minor, A flat, um, C sharp, C, F5, A, D shaped on 9, then the D again, okay, then Mamma Mia Mamma Mia, just 2 and 4 on the G string, and then Mamma Mia Amigo, so it's, um, it's D and G, D with the 5 and 7, and G, D shaped on uh, seven, and it's it's D D G D. Then it's it's technically it's G, but you play it like uh, D sus four. 
then D again, A. Okay? So it's, okay, it's D, D, G, D, G, D, A. Now it's, But before we dissect this one, uh, Edgar Cruz does a show-off chord here. He does this. He just puts the, the G bass on with his thumb. Now, it's just a show-off chord because this is G as well. So, you can... You can add the G bass with your thumb if you want to show off, but you don't have to. You can just play the open G over D. So it's uh, I, it's where it A, then D G or G, and then um, C sharp, F sharp with a high F sharp on 14 so bar you bar the 9th fret you bar the 11th fret and you put your pinky at 14 okay so and then it's you bar the 2nd fret and you do A7 to A6 and then A9 to A Okay, it, this is three, three to two, and this is seven to five. So, and then just a high A, just bar the 14th fret and put a finger on the 17th. And then comes another solo, it's the rock and roll part. So let me just play the solo and the rock part. This is relatively very, very easy in comparison with the opera part. You're done with the opera part. Let's go through it one last time. C sharp to G sharp. C sharp to G sharp again. C sharp to G sharp again. F sharp, E flat, A flat. Um, solo. Octaves. G, D, D, uh, diminished D. G again. D, E, or E7. B, E7, A, um, turn around, our fifths, slide, D, uh, D, A, D, E minor, D, A, um, slide again, Um, B flat minor, A flat, C sharp, C, F, A, D, solo, D to G to D to G, D, A, D, G, C sharp, F sharp, a, 7, 6, 9, A, A. Now, the solo. First, I'm going to play the solo in the rock and roll part, and then we're going to dissect it. Let's go.
Okay, um, we're about um, three quarters through uh, with this piece. So, shake your hands and let's go. The solo goes like this. Okay, so it's D, C-shaped, C, C-shaped C bar chord. So it's D, then you play the uh, D string, and then on uh, the G string, 0, 2, and you play the A bass with the 2. It's just two A's. So, then 4, then 2 and 3 on the B string. So, again. Then you play it again. Only this time it's with the A bass. Just two and four. Hammer on, pull off. So, and then again with the first line. Then E. One, two on the G string. And zero, two, zero. Hammer on, pull off on the B. So, Got it? That's the solo. Now the verse. A7. A6. A. It's just all this with A. So it's A7, A6, A. D. Then slide. Just A to A sus4, open E string. Then this. C. Then again. Okay, A7, A6, A, D. So again. G slide to seven. Then F sharp bass. Sounds like this. Then E with the high G note. Okay, you can do this. And then, but I think that strumming it just changes the entire sound of the piece. So um, I like to do, okay, just um, like the romance, like the guitar romance. Watch the video, it's a nice piece, this one. Okay, so same picking pattern. Okay, just one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then A6 to A. Now, this okay on the D string two four two hammer on pull off and then double pull off on the A string four two zero and then E again just E with a high G to A6 to A again. So, um... G. And then... It's the same, only different. It's um, two to four on the A string, then two, four to two, four on the A string again. It's A string, D string, A string. And then A, E7, 
A A Sus4 A Okay And then the solo again And on the E it's a little different Instead of you do one zero, uh, one two, and then zero on the B string, and then two slide to four and E, like this. Okay. The entire thing again. D. This is the solo between the, the um, it's not actually a solo, more like a movement between two different, completely different parts, like a rock part and a softer part, um, a kicking part and a softer part. So it's this. Okay, it's A, it's F, then it's G. A and on the A you put an A bass. Then then it's G A B. Just open B string with the B bass. Then A B C. Okay, G A B A B C. So F G. G, A, B, A, B, C, and then the solo, B flat bass, now along with the E flat here, so, and you hammer on to the B flat 5, okay, and then on the G string, Zero, one, three, and one, and then on the B string, one, two, uh, one, three, four. Okay, and then G bass with open A string, and you hammer on the two and the three on the A string. And then, which is zero on the D string and three on the A string, two on the A, the, no, not the A, the D string. This is confusing. Two and zero on the D string, and then three on the D string, zero, two on the G string. Okay? And then 
you leave this note on and you play an A. Okay, this is it. So it's A, two to four on the G string, then two and three on the B string, then three on the B string and an open E string, then two, zero, three on the E string. Okay? And then it's zero, two, and four on the A string. Open D string with the four on the A string. Two and zero on the uh, the D string and then two and four twice and then again okay and then it's zero two on the G string this is the beginning of an A chord okay you play the A bass with an A chord. It's okay. Again, slowly. I know this is a confusing part to play slowly. When you play it faster, it's uh, it makes more sense. So again. flat on the bass G on the bass A on the bass again with A A chord now the final the final part okay this is, in my opinion, the most beautiful part of the song, and it goes like this. Okay, are you ready to play this? To finish Bohemian Rhapsody goes like this, remember? And now D. D to D5. Okay, with the high A. Now um, A over C sharp only with your pinky not on the E string but on the B string making it again an A okay it's it's this it's um, it's like playing this the regular A with a C sharp bass so only a lot more comfortable so So it's, and then it's 2-5 on the 
B string and you put the high A again. So it's So it's D D5 A over C sharp. Now B minor. Now F sharp minor to B minor. Now again only with zero and two on the E string as a movement between them. Okay, so. Now A to D using two and three on the E string as a connector. Now, there's a very cute movement here between chords, which goes like this. Okay, so you're at D, slide it to D7 on 5, 7, and 5, barring the 5. Take this one step back and bar the entire fret until you reach the C sharp bass, which is, which makes this a C sharp uh, seven chord. It's like, it's not like, it's exactly um, D seven to C sharp seven. So A, D, D seven, C sharp seven. Then, okay, this is F sharp with four and four on the E and G strings, and then five on the E string. This is, this is F sharp minor with a high three. So again, again from the top, D, D5, A over C sharp, B minor, F sharp minor, 2, B minor, A, D, D7, C sharp 7, is F sharp minor. Now G, D. Okay, it's just G, just zero and two on the B string. D. Okay, now, um, nothing really matters. This is B bass with three on the E string. Three to two. Two on the B string. And the four on the D string. F, F sharp minor. Now B minor. Which is two. Zero on the E, lift the bar, then minor two, sus two. F sharp minor again. Or then again, it's minor, then zero two on the E string, lift the bar, put it back again, then G minor, and then open G over D, okay, it's 2, 0, 3 on the B string, 4 on the G 
G-string, 6 on the G-string. D. Again, the 7, uh, the 5, 7, 7. Now, G major 7, which means it's G with 9 instead of with 10. Okay, so the entire uh, verse. F sharp minor, B minor, G minor, open G, D, G major 7, D again. This is a diminished chord on 7. It's 7, 9, 10. And then 9 on the E string. Okay, and now an interesting chord. It's A over C sharp like this. It's A here, but instead of barring, you need a second finger and third finger with the pinky on the major note. And the bass is first finger on the C sharp. Okay, so it's and then you turn this into a minor. You turn this into A minor over C, which is just barring the third with three fingers on five. Okay, which is five, three, seven. And then you change it into B. Okay, if you're not following, I'll repeat it, don't worry. Then B7. It's 10, Okay, so again. And then you put the B chord on like this because you need to slide it. Okay, just without the bar. So play it and slide the seven to four. And play the four above it. Slide to two. E. Okay? And then this is four, the, the C sharp. It's A over C sharp again. Okay, just the three bass notes. It's then um, E. Then this diminished chord, it's one, two, zero, one, two, zero. It's B flat diminished. So it's, it's <clears throat> A over C sharp, E, B flat diminished, F minor seven. Ready for this? E. And you're done. Not yet, let me repeat it. D. B5. A over C sharp. B minor. F sharp minor. B minor. F sharp minor. B minor. Now, um, A. D. D7. C sharp 7. F sharp minor. G. D. Now, verse, F sharp minor, B minor, again, B minor to F sharp minor, G minor, 
G, open G. It's actually G6, if you want to get technical about it. So, D, G in major 7. A over C sharp. A minor over C. B. B7. B without the bar. Slide from 7 to 4. From 4 to 2. E. A over C sharp. E. B flat uh, diminished. Sharp minor seven. E. Now, remember, play it slowly. Practice it slowly. Don't. If your hands hurt, like mine do right now, I wish you could see my fingers. I, I hope. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, the skin is peeling off. So, um, uh, if your fingers hurt, stop playing. Practice it tomorrow. Okay? You don't have to play this in a day. Take your time with it, have patience, play it slowly, get it on your fingers, and every time you succeed in playing one lick, move on to the next one. Okay? Play a lick, then play another lick. Play a part, then move on to the next part. Have patience with this one. This is not an easy piece. So, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go because you owe me, I'm in pain right now, and um, I hope you enjoyed this, I seriously hope that you appreciate this, um, I've learned it especially for you guys and girls, and um, thank you very much, don't forget to subscribe, and um, I'll see you in the next lesson, tell your friends!